Many people gave their time to help tell the story. People from Harmony County and Gainesville. People like Boyce Brown, young chicken farmer who plays John. And Marjorie Morris, who takes the part of his wife, Liza. Mr. and Mrs. Jarrett play Liza's father and mother. And Paula Hood plays Nell. Did you check the water? Yes, I checked that too. Well, it's dry now. Well, stuff. I thought you fixed it. They're going to spoil that child rotten if they keep that up. No use your talking that way, John, and you know it. If we've got to live together, they're bound to spoil our living. Yes, we'll keep on living here. Letting your father decide how we're going to raise our children. Your mother decide how you're going to dress. And pretty soon we'll... Hush up, John, please. You wanted to go in business with Daddy. It was your idea to get all that money tied up, his life savings. You act like I haven't got anything in it at all. Do all the work, building all the houses, all the fetching, carrying. Oh, Lord, I'm a biscuit. I've got some mama. Well, they're roaring, Tom roaring. They're not going too bad to eat. If more folks around here would scour the kitchen and tend to their own work, we'd be heap better off. Well, I've been working on that wind for the last five hours. If a man can't stop for five minutes to get warm, then I don't know what. Well, Jeremiah said you lost eight more chickens this afternoon, and if you keep that up, John Lord, you're going to have us all in the poor house. I lost them. Guess he didn't have anything to do with it. Guess he didn't let that salesman talk him into buying untested chicks because they were too much cheaper. Hush up, John. Mama, John has as much right to be in here as anybody. Well, somebody's got to think about saving the two senses, and Lord knows it wouldn't be you. You call it saving. I call it wasting. Young Lord, I made a living on this farm for 30 years. Before you ever came along with your big ideas about chicken raising, I can do it again. All right, all right. If that's the way you want it, I'll get up. John, Papa didn't mean it that way. Count on you to take sides against me, Liza. John, wait. Is this where you want it? 
Lordy, is everybody mad today? I'm sorry, I've had a bad day. Well, that's okay. Say, that's not it. <laughs> Look at that mess. Watch out, Drake. I'll help you. The girl will get that up. She might cut her hands. Thanks for helping me. That's okay. Back up, Ann. Let's go. Come on, John. You better get going, too. Well, I'm going to stick around, Mom. Can't spend the night here, Chicken Farm. Okay, I'm I got my truck over on. You can't drive home like this. I can't, huh? No, you can't. Come on, you better come over to my place and get some coffee and sober up. Good night. Good night. get this dress finished. I can't get a thing done when Mama's around. She knows how to do some things better than I do, I guess, but she hasn't the least idea about style. That's cold. Don't you think it's going to look nice when I get it finished? Look, John. Honey, honey, don't be like that. I guess so. But I still don't see why Liza waited so long to tell me about that. I uh, used to a woman didn't tell her old man until she couldn't hide it anymore. One time I kept my condition from Jeremiah almost four months. You want a boy, don't you? Never saw a man that didn't. I guess I do, only natural. But shouldn't Liza be seeing a doctor? What do I need a doctor for? I've got at least six and a half months to go yet, and no doctor in the world can do anything about that. I know that much, honey, but hadn't you better be thinking about it? Mama, I even showed him my maternity dress and he didn't even guess. Well, once they get you married, a man don't take notice to anything, but John's right. You should see Dr. Tidwell and let him make sure that everything's all right. Oh, I'll go when my time comes, all right. You two stop fussing at me. You see, now, we can cure you. 
But most people don't have to take examinations like you food handlers do. And that means that anybody that you might have been with in the past few months may have syphilis and not know it. Yes, ma'am. And if they're married, they will probably make their wives sick with syphilis. The way that no good husband of mine did before he ran off and left me. That's right, Nell. But it can be even worse than that. Suppose that this John that you told me about is married and his wife should get pregnant. Unless we find her soon and she takes treatment, it's very likely that her baby will be born dead or diseased. I'll do anything you say to help, honest. But all I know is the fellows with him were teasing him about chickens, and they called him John. Isn't there any way that you can get a message to him? He hasn't been in since that one night, but I've got to do something. I wouldn't want anyone to get sick or die on account of me. Tall, dark-haired chicken farmer named John. I'm afraid... Even though he is from this county, Doctor. The girl wants to help all she can, I'm sure of that. But we have so little to go on, and if he's married... And if his wife's pregnant, that'll make it all the ways. Cross your fingers, honey. I haven't lost but eight chicks out of this batch, and they're in the fifth week already. You're going to make a chicken grow yet with a few years of practice. Hey, take it easy, honey. Lord Massey, John, the way you act, you'd think Liza's baby was due tomorrow night. Woman's got to have some exercise. Well, it'll be a boy, ain't it, Liza? That dear my Crawford, you'll wait five months to find out. <laughs> I guess I'll be all, Jake. Say, mister, pardon me. Weren't you in here one night a couple of months ago? Yep, what about it? You know the fellows that were with you, the one named John. Do you know where I could find him? Look, little girl, if John wants to find you, he knows where to come. He's a married man, you know. Come on, now. Let's wait on the cousin. I saw this other fellow. I'm sure he knows who he is and where he lives. That may be, Nell. But you see, this information that you gave us about John, we have to keep in the strictest confidence. That's the law. So you see, we just can't go around asking everybody, even though you do know he's married. But suppose his wife is, is going to have a baby. That's the saddest thing of all. If she is, let's hope to goodness she gets to a doctor right away. Then everything will be all right. If she gets treated in time. You see, Nell, in the first four months of pregnancy, the disease does not get from the mother to the child. In the fifth month and after, it's very likely... Then the baby will die? No, there's still a chance to save it. A great many women don't go to doctors until they've been pregnant for seven or even eight months. And even then, they don't take blood tests. And no one knows until a baby comes that anything is wrong. I'll keep looking, Mrs. McEvery. Good girl. Bye. Bye. I'm in the this morning. You know, we haven't lost a cent made out of this patch yet. Reckon you can raise boys as good as can chicken? <laughs> Liza says it feels like twins, both of them girls. I'm picking up this morning is going to finish out this batch. Ought to make $400 easy. I want to see Daddy's face when the check comes in. Liza, why don't you come into town with me and see the doctor? You're nearly five months gone. Listen, John, I feel perfectly all right. I know when it's time to go to the doctor. It isn't as though I haven't been through this before. Okay, bye-bye. The really important thing about this multi-phase health testing program that you civic leaders are helping to put on here in the county is just this. Now, for the first time, we'll be able to help a lot of our people who are walking around with one or more of these diseases and don't know it. Some of them are right in your own organizations. 
With one x-ray, we can check for signs of tuberculosis and certain heart abnormalities. With one sample of blood, we can check for signs of anemia, diabetes, and syphilis. And from the dental inspection, we can warn many of our people of oral cavities and of other oral defects. Everything is strictly confidential. Your tests are marked by a number. And if they find anything that shows that you need special treatment, you can go straight to your family doctor. And speaking for the County Medical Society, I wish to urge each and every member of this organization to get behind this worthwhile project. If everybody keeps working like this, we'll test the county 100%. That's the truth. Okay. Hot enough for you? I'll say it's boiling. Folks usually have trouble with the first batch or two. Brawlers are harder to raise than most folks think. Uh, are you going home now? Yeah, you want to ride? I'd appreciate it. My wife's helping with this big health program, and I can't leave town before I go by and get my checkup. OK, I'll wait for you. Thank you. No, she isn't. She's over across the square at the testing station. Could somebody else have to? No, no, thank you. I'll go over there. Come on in with me. No, I got a couple of things I want to do. I'll just wait. All right. What do you mean running off that away? You come on in here and get yourself tested. Where's Liza and all the family? You should bring them all in and get them tested.
Doctor, what makes you so sure? Well, we can't be absolutely sure until the results of this second blood test come back tomorrow. But your blood test did show a high titer. Uh, well, I haven't had any of these symptoms except an ordinary sore throat. Well, that's just trouble, Mr. Lloyd. We're finding more and more cases like yours. In the early infectious stages of disease, the symptoms are often so slight that they go unnoticed. By the way, I think uh, when you come tomorrow for the result on this second blood test, you'd uh, better bring Ms. Lloyd in with you for the test. But her, what, what's this got to do with her? Sit down, Mr. Lloyd. We treat a lot of people in our VD clinics, Mr. Lloyd. In fact, we have information that you've been exposed to an infectious case of syphilis. Now, only the two of us here in the clinic who have to do with treatment know this. In fact, this is strictly confidential information. I can't even tell you uh, who gave us the information, but whoever did it did you a real service. In all probability, you went through the infectious stages months ago, and it's entirely possible that at that time, wife was exposed. But doctor, she's pregnant. Nearly five months, I think. Then good Lord, man, you can't let her go another week without treatment. Why, that baby's in danger of his life. Why don't you go to the doctor, Ivan? But I told you, John, I'll go see the doctor when it's time. What made you so worried all of a sudden? It isn't all of a sudden. I've been after you and after you and after you. Mama here can bear me out on that. You act like I haven't got any right to take an interest in the child. A lot of fuss over nothing. In my day, the women called for the granny. You keep out of this. It's none of your business. Everybody hush. Hush, John. Liza's a woman and she knows her time. No occasion for anyone else to be meddling in it. Liza, I lied to you this evening. There is a reason why you've got to see a doctor. What do you mean? They say I, I've got syphilis, and if I've got it, well, you've probably got it too. And if we don't do something quick, the baby might be born blind or crippled or even dead. Are you sure, Doctor? There's no doubt about it. Both your test and Mrs. Lloyd's are definitely positive. And the sooner you start taking a treatment, Miss Lloyd, the sooner that baby of yours will be out of danger. But, Doctor... Both of you can take a treatment in a few days' time. 
and it's an almost certain cure. You can uh, receive your treatment either from your family physician or you may take it uh, here at the health department. And my baby? When we treat a pregnant woman for syphilis, her baby receives the same medicine through the blood. Are you sure it'll be all right, doctor? No cure can be guaranteed 100%. It would have been much better had uh, Mrs. Lloyd gone to a doctor earlier, because any good doctor would have taken blood tests as a part of his regular care. Your wife's in a fifth month now, but our chances of curing her and of saving the baby are still good. When do we start, doctor? The John Lloyds. Oh, yeah, yeah. I delivered her first baby. Well, they want to start right away, so I'll send over the results of the test, and, well, it's been a pretty bad shock to the wife, so, uh... I understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Ms. Lloyd, that's the last treatment. Of course, I'd like to see you about every four weeks for a checkup before the baby comes. I don't think we've got much to worry about. And the baby will come normal, and... Look, Miss Lloyd, we doctors do a great deal sometimes, but we're not magicians. Thousands of babies die every year from this and lots of other diseases, simply because women won't see their doctors during the first month or two of pregnancy. When they put off coming until much later, as you did, we can still do a great deal, but it makes things a lot harder. Why did you wait so long? I thought it was all right. I felt all right. Exactly. You thought you were all right. And yet you, you endangered the life of your own child. Maybe it ought to die. Now, don't be foolish, Liza. There's no reason to get yourself all upset. Everything's going to work out all right. I know, but Liza, it's, it's all my fault. I caused all of it. Oh, John, for heaven's sake, let's go home. That's right, Dr. Tidwell. Prenatal clinics every other Thursday at 2. I've asked Mrs. Lloyd to come along to it. She's pretty upset about things, and I'm afraid if she uh, loses interest in her baby, it, it uh, might not be so good. I understand. Of course. You send her around, and we'll take care of her. Goodbye. Too hot to eat, much less cook. August is always the hottest month. I've got to 
go put supper on the table now, Kitty. But call me back later. And don't worry, you've got months to go yet. Is them women still talking? Oh, that Kitty's the sign. Every time she gets a kick, she thinks her time's come. Kitty says she's buying both pink and blue just to make sure. What is y'all? I'm hungry. Still out in the chicken house, I guess. Looks like he's probably gonna live with those chickens, the way he sticks out there all the time. He makes them pay, doesn't he? If more people around here would work, it's hard to make things run. All right, all right, I'll go get him. No, leave him, Papa. He'll eat with me later when it's cool. What's the matter? Staying out here night after night. I know you want to make a go of these chickens, but you don't have to cut yourself off from everybody. After what I've done to you, Liza, I haven't any right to you. But, John, I don't feel that way. It was both our fault, and besides, we just can't keep on like this. And if the baby isn't born right, I'd never forgive myself. But the doctor says it has a good chance. Don't let this thing get you all twisted up. Everybody makes mistakes. After what I've done, I haven't any right to a son. I haven't any right to a son at all. Crying out, whatever's bothering you. Lies the baby. It works itself. Never have to taste it. They're so cute. Spend more than four hundred and fifty dollars on a last four thousand dollars. We've got another patch coming off next week. Kitty came over to see Liza off to the hospital, but looks like the old man's gonna keep her in the chicken house all day. Jeremiah, we better go. Jeremiah. Hospitals are just plain foolish. That bed upstairs was good enough for you to have your eat in. That before I could nurse because it didn't have decent treatment. <laughs> Doctor, are you sure you've done everything possible? I took another blood test just yesterday, John, and it looked all right. I don't think we've got anything special to worry about. But, of course, I'll have to check the baby every month for three months after it's born. I know Liza's up there suffering to birth a child that won't be right just because of what I did. It's happened to other people. I've seen the little kids all twisted up. John, listen to me. Liza's baby's in far less danger right now than dozens are that are going to be born in this hospital between now and Christmas, simply because their mothers haven't had blood tests. If there was just some way we could get women to understand how important these tests are. Dr. Tidwell, you want it in delivery. Okay. Take it easy, John. Okay, thanks, Doctor. Date of birth, September 18th. Weight, 
7 pounds, 8 ounces, sex, male, name of parent, John and Liza Lloyd. Isn't he sweet, John? He looks just like you. Does he? Pick him up and hold him. No, I think I'd better not. Why not? I'd better not just yet. Oh, John. Well, I'd better be getting back. It's getting late. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm. one of the finest babies I've ever had the privilege of delivering. Aren't you, boy? He's growing so fast, he'll be asking you back in another month or so. I want to make a final blood check at the end of three months. There's absolutely nothing to worry about, but it's always best to make sure. All right. about ready for your examination, Mrs. Kendrick? Yes, Doctor. Bradley, dear, will you hold my bag? Wait for me, Liza, and I'll have a milkshake before we go home. Okay. Let's go down to the Mermaid Dairy. They make milkshakes that high. Okay. That woman's always hungry. They all are about this time. I'm just your room, Granny. All right, Patsy. But don't be climbing on things. I'm not. Liza, what's John got against that boy of his? Nothing that I know of. Why? It's not natural the way he's acting. Don't ever play with this baby like he used to be doing Patsy all the time. Don't think of as much as ever seen him pick up the child. He don't act natural with you, either. John's got lots of mind, Mama. He's always asking about the baby. And besides, you can't expect a man to... Here he comes. Hey. Hi. Warm up in here, lad? Haven't yet. You've got it hot as an oven in here now. I gotta get back and get the house cleaned out before dark. Well, we'll be eating in another hour. Okay. Things that I just couldn't seem to help her. 
That's my trouble, John. I'm off at the plant all day. Nobody home. I don't know how Kitty's going to manage by herself. Good Lord, Brad. When Kitty gets home with that baby, there'll be me, Eliza, and Mama Crawford, or somebody over there all the time. We'll be over there so much, so you'll have to start charging this board. Mr. Kendrick? Here, ma'am. You can come up now. I'll see you later, Brad. Liza? Liza! It's a girl, six pounds. Come already? Yeah, Kitty came through it fine. And you should have seen Bradley. That boy was so excited, I thought he'd pop. He was really something. I bet he was. He ought to be. He's almost three months old. And Dr. Tidwell says he's the healthiest baby in the county. He's getting big as a young cat. Do you really think he looks like Eliza? He's a spitting image of you, John. 